if you load an uh, image file together with your original file with the same name but with an extension of PNG this setup image tab will load your file whatever the file is that ends with PNG so this helps us like write some information about you know how the setup is going to be so I find this very helpful uh, if you don't include it that's fine it's not going to show up anything in here it's the file is still going to work okay if you need to start from in the middle of the program or you need to find something in your G code uh, you have this find button in here you can hit find and let's say I'm looking for a boring operation I type BO for example uh, and I go hit here and you'll see that you'll find the first BO uh, starts with BO in here I can click here as soon as you click there you will see this number reflecting the line you selected here and also this here and you can close this and you can hit run from here button to start from there uh, this is not always uh, very straightforward depending on where the G code ended uh, you may have to run other G codes uh, if the plane is different if you need to start uh, the spindle and the miss system you may need to type them in here to do so so it's not always straightforward to start from there but depending on your G code uh, you may need to run uh, a few things turn a few things on and off before you start um, for that to work okay. now let's talk about all these buttons here now um, the first one is the power button this normally comes blinking when you first turn on the machine you click on that it says machine is on and then home all button will blink you hit that it goes to home so at before you operate the machine we want to make sure these two are on and before these uh, you might make sure that your uh, emergency stop is not engaged if it is engaged let's do that you will see on the screen that's release e stop and you will not be able to control these buttons until you release that by turning it clockwise and you will hear the motors turn on and off at, during that time and then the power button will uh, come blinking and you will go to power again it's already home so you don't need home it but if you click on this again it will rehome it without asking so um, yeah make sure you know that you really want to home it before you click here to the right, uh, the exit button is to get out of the program. Uh, if you want to turn off your machine, that's a good way to get out. Exit, and it will ask again, uh, sure, and you click on that. If you don't, it's going to go back to exit. The reason you want to exit from there is because uh, it saves this G54 you know, or whatever it is, uh, last homing position compared to your work. Uh, your work position is saved it may not be saved if you directly turn off the machine uh, so the next group here we have in here is you're setting your G54 uh, work offsets uh, so these are default to zero you can hit these or you can type in your desired numbers here and then you can hit enter or set X buttons here so as soon as you do that for example it's going to make this work zero it's going to place the remaining x uh, offset here and this will be zero so you would like to look at these are your work numbers uh, work coordinates uh, compared to related to your g code and these are the same numbers as in here and they are all just larger and it gives more details about what's happening with the machine these are manual settings here uh, in the manual settings we have the mist controls you can turn on the mist turn off the mist uh, and yeah let's turn the mist again so you can see that it's turning the pump down there it all turns on the air air is not connected at this moment for demonstration but it needs to be connected at all times and I can also adjust the mist amount by this one is maximum and 
0.35 is the minimum, but around there it will turn off the mist. So if you need just the air but no mist, you will need to set up to around 0.45. Usually this comes, uh, this comes standard as 0.75, and I turn it off. Spindle, it starts from 10,000 RPM, you can adjust that manually, but usually this should be run from, uh, from your G-code, but you can run it from here too. Uh, jog speed is when you use the controls on your keyboard, left, right, up, down, and so on. This is the maximum speed that this will generate at. Uh, but we usually prefer to use our pendant, which comes with the machine. Uh, so in that case, you don't have to play around with that. It has all the settings on it or all the stages. Uh, if you need to move uh, a certain uh, amount, you can have the continuous, which is the standard. And now you can do 0.1 inches and you can go X, Y, Z, 0.1, you know, 10,000 and a 1,000 here, that's standard. And in this tab is for running the machine, so while it's op operating, uh, so you can run the cycle or you can use R on the keyboard, aboard, escape is aboard at the same time, and pause is for P, S is for resume, and you can also step, that means you go once, one line at a time. Here we have the, you know, we can limit the feed limit while the machine is running. So say if you have 80 IPM right now and you're not happy with that speed, you can lower that. And this will only affect the G1 codes. So feed means G1 and uh, G0 is for max free travel. So that, that will not be affected by this. The next was the RPM limit for this. If, you, if in the uh, program you have uh, your spindle set to 20,000 RPM and if you lower this it's gonna get lowered accordingly. Let's do that actually. Let's turn the spindle here. So it's like 10,000 RPM that you can see right down here on the DRO. If I lower this to say 50% you'll see it's gonna go down to like 5,000 RPMs. And, and this will also affect every G-code uh, S entry which is a spindle entry so it will make everything half if this is 50%. So if you have different speeds set up in the G-code, it's gonna change accordingly. 20,000 will be 10,000, 10,000 will be 5,000. So, and you can use these while the program is running. Uh, so you don't have to stop the program to do that. Max velocity is the, the, the cap of speed of any kind of move. G1 or G0 or G2, G3, what have you, it will limit that to this number, which is also very useful at certain situations. This is the uh, list down here. It's for the last if, if few files that you have used, and then you can select the direct from there. If you've been working the last 10 or so, this should be listed in here, so easily you can switch. And down here, it tells you in detail where that file is that is, that is currently loaded. Uh, and here is the uh, actual code that runs and it will go down and up as the, as the, uh, as the machine uh, G code runs. Um, and down here you see all the active G codes and all the active M codes in here. We've on the plot in here, let's talk about this a little bit. You can pan it like this. I'm clicking on the left uh, mouse button and then I'm moving the mouse. This is panning. If I did the right mouse button, then I can do rotation. And zoom in and zoom out is here. I can zoom in and zoom out like so. And when there's machining done in here, I can hit clear. I need to clear all the moves. Yellows being the G0s, reds being the uh, G1s, but we don't have any right now. This is very useful to set up your piece. So you know uh, how much it moves on Y, how much it moves on X, and especially the depth uh, that, is, that it is using. Uh, we talked about the DRO, setup image is related to your file name, but it ends with a PNG. Uh, and this is your file tab, this is very useful. As soon as you plug in a USB, it's gonna be recognized. In general, uh, if you save anything on this computer, on a Linux system in general, you may want to use the eject USB just in case, because every once in a while you may get a corrupt USB stick because you didn't. Um, now on this side, 
you have the USB and then you can move your files this way or you can move your files back to the USB this way. Uh, and after they are here, you can double click on it like so and then you will see it here. So you want to make sure that you see it here before you know that that's the file or you can go to DRO back and see this here to make sure that the file that you would like to use is loaded correctly. Uh, and after the file tab, uh, and you know you have the all regular stuff in here like new file, new folder, rename, delete, delete for both sides, which is the USB side and the working folder side. Uh, on the edit tab, you can edit, you can select your files and you can edit them in here. Uh, this always correlates to the loaded file, so you cannot edit other files. You can only edit the one that is loaded right now. And say I want to change this M87 to M8 and I save, you will see that on the right side it will also change that to M8. Let me go back so it, it actually starts the missed M8 is flood, M7 is missed. And it goes back to, so you can do some minor changes or if it's a small program you can even write it here if you so desire. Um, on the tools tab, these are tools installed and these are the Z offsets is all you need uh, for a 3-axis machine um, we have three tools installed in there and we use this holder piece as the base tool to uh, reference everything and we have the offsets in here current offsets defined in there you only have G54 right now you could do G55 56 and so on if you have different work pieces and different different areas of the uh, of the machine okay uh, this is status if there's any errors or anything and also on the left side it's like an e you know easy to look at which G codes are active or which G codes are available it gives you some information about what they do uh, a little bit help in there 